Hey team, today we are going to discuss a reverse diet and why it is crucial to incorporate this in order to be able to reach your goals. So a reverse diet is something that unfortunately is not talked about very often. We talk about a deficit. So this means that you're eating less than you're burning. And this is the situation that you have to be in in order for you to be able to see adjustment on the scale, lose weight, lose inches, reach your goals. But what happens after the deficit? That's the part that is not talked about. And that's why whenever you do any kind of really restrictive diet or like you remove carbs or you're going to intermittent fast, any of these things, the thing they all have in common is that you are eating less than you're burning but they don't teach you what you need to do after you're done that part of the diet. So when you're in a deficit, you should only be in deficit for a certain period of time. Now this period of time is going to be different for every individual, and it could also be different for each time you go into it. Our bodies are super smart and they figure out what we're doing when we're trying to remove calories. So when I say they're super smart, what I mean is when you're in a deficit for a long time, what your body does is it starts to slow down that metabolism, slow down that metabolic rate, it lowers the hormone that you need in order for fat loss to occur, and it goes into defense mode. So instead of burning anything, it's gonna start to store things because it needs to make sure that it's gonna be able to get you through your next day. So at this point, that is when you would implement a reverse diet so that in the future, you could try another deficit, eating less than you're burning, and have it be successful again. So what we do when we implement a reverse diet is we slowly add calories into your week in a controlled setting, being on top of the scale, measurements, making sure that you're maintaining your weight around, like you'll see a slight adjustment. Uh, we don't like to see any more than about four or five pounds. And this is gonna happen because you are adding in more carbs. You are going to replenish, be replenishing those glycogen stores. You are going to be a little bit puffier because you're adding the food back in, but you wanna make sure that you do this slowly so that you don't put on the weight that you had just successfully lost in that deficit. So you do this in several weeks, making sure to do small increases each week. And those increases are gonna be anywhere between about 80, 100 calories, somewhere in there, something not too much, but enough that you'll notice that you're gonna start feeling more full and satisfied after you had just been in that fat loss phase for a long period of time. So what this is doing while you are increasing calories is it's going to speed back up that metabolic rate. It is going to speed up your metabolism because the more you eat, the more you burn. And it's going to be able to level out those hormones that you need in order for fat loss to occur. So when you're in a deficit and you either hit a plateau so that scale is not budging for you anymore, or if you've just been eating 1200 calories for months at a time, some people have been doing this for years and you're not seeing any change on the scale. You even add in exercise, you're still not seeing any adjustments in the scale or in measurements. This is a true sign that you are, your body's in defense mode and you're in what's called a chronic deficit. So you have been dieting for too long and your body has now got to that point that it is storing everything and no changes are going to occur until you implement a reverse diet, okay? So think about it, think about your past, think about where you've been the last couple months, um, how much effort you've been putting into your workouts. If you're giving it your all in the gym and you're eating only small amounts of food, skipping breakfast, you need to be thinking about a reverse diet, okay? So you're gonna be adding in a little bit of calories a week, making sure you're hitting your protein target that we talked about in the modules a couple of modules ago. And you need to get yourself up to a healthier maintenance number so that your body could again go back into another deficit and you'd be able to see change again. So unfortunately, this is not talked about, but this process has to be implemented in any kind of a diet that you are in. 
whether you're in carb and removing carbs, whether you're going to intermittent fast, whatever you're doing, if you are in those low numbers for too long and you don't implement this process after and you just go back to the way you were eating, that's why you're going to pull all that weight back on because you did not take it slow and steady in a controlled setting so that your body could adjust to the calories each week and get used to that so that you don't put all that weight back on. Okay, so it's super, super important. And if you need any more information on this, or if you'd like some guidance through this, I have worked with hundreds of men and women in this process. We have seen amazing results. Sometimes we even see change in measurements and change on the scale while we're in the reverse diet because your body's finally letting go and things are finally moving the way they need to be moving. It is an amazing thing. So don't sit back and feel lost and be sitting there struggling, okay? Because it does not have to be that way. I can show you the way and, or you can just try this yourself too by slowly incorporating more calories into your day each week, okay? Don't sit back feeling frustrated. Do something about it. Okay, we'll talk to you guys soon.